Hi all and welcome to my very first laundry vlog. Yes, I've got piles of washing to do and I've separated them out into all piles. I have got some woolen jumpers to wash as well. I've taken those downstairs, but we've got a pile of underwear and socks. We've got shirts and tops. We've got towels and we've got jumpers over here. So I'm going to get all of these washed today on different washes. Let's get started with the woolens. Okay, so just a little quick tour of my laundry room. So we've got the Heat Pump Bosch Series 6 Tumble Dryer. And then below, we've got the Series 6 iDose washing machine. So if I just zoom in, you can see the woolens here. Now I have done a full wash cycle video. So you can see these going round. So I won't be filming these as a full cycle, uh, but I do like to wash them separately. So if you didn't know about the iDose system, Literally, you fill up these compartments. That's got fabric conditioner, and then you've got your detergent in there. So you just close it. You haven't, you haven't even got to open it. You select the buttons. There you can see the screen. Um, it's really easy. You just select down to the wool wash. Now, you can't, that setting is perfect, so I wouldn't alter that at all. It's 41 minutes, and then you just go. And there we have it. There we go, I've just sat down to eat my sandwich, my lunch, and it's just beeped, so we'll turn it off, we'll get them out, and I'll show you what I do with them once I've finished my sandwich. Right, so I've got them out. They are damp to the touch, and I think they always recommend that you dry the woolens flat. Well, I don't have enough flat surfaces to do that, so what I normally do is put them on the radiators with the arms kind of splayed out over the top, and when the heating comes on, they dry. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is what I mean. I just kind of put them on the top because we've got these rather flat topped radiators. So it's perfect for the arms. And like I say, when they come on, it will dry in a couple of hours. So there you go. Okay, so the next load I'm going to do is this pile here. It's the general kind of mixed t-shirts, lounge bottoms, day wear tops, that kind of thing. So let's get that in the machine. Right, so just like before, I'm going to put it, I think, on a quick wash because I haven't actually got that many things in here. If I just zoom out so you can see. Um, and the clothes aren't really dirty. So, you know, I only kind of use a really full wash when I really need to. So select. Now what I'm going to do is put it on the super quick increase to 1200 on the speed um i'll leave it on 30. like i say it's 30 minutes it's the eye dose go right so here is the next load it's all the jumpers and men's jumpers that kind of thing it's just i've just turned this off so what i'm going to do for the next load, I'm going to actually put the next load on a full stop wash cycle because the tumble dryer uh, takes a while to dry things like this. So let's just hop up here. So this is what I do. Um, if I just hang on a second, I'll just load it up. OK, so I've just made sure that this is empty. It is empty. I did empty it from the last time. So that just pulls out. So uh, I did also clean out the filter. This is actually a little bit of purple off one of those laundry balls. It actually, it was actually, it worked well, but all the little bristles came off and I, I still keep finding them. Anyway, let's shut those up. So what I normally do is I normally put them on the Cotton Cupboard Dry Plus. It says three hours, but it's not always three hours. It depends when it senses it, it adjusts the time. So that will now come on with the light and then it'll just start going round and they'll be perfectly dried when they come out. I do quite like the heat pump. Um, it's the first time that I've had one and it does work really, really well. And like I say, the times are a little bit scary, but it's not always those times and it is a lot more efficient and a lot cheaper. So let's get these in. Okay. So what I'm gonna do this time is put it on the cottons and turn it down to 30 to save some money 
in normal times I would have it on 40. Um, leave the eye dose, that's all fully loaded and reduce the speed. If you press the speed button on the Bosch Series 6, it reduces it to the uh, about one hour 30 and then go. Right, so I've just taken all of this out of the tumble dryer. It's all nice and warm and dry and it's time to put on the next load. So again, the same setting as before and just press start. And now I need to put another load in the washing machine and then get this folded. Okay, so it's now time for the pants and socks. I'm going to put them again on a quick wash. Um, it doesn't need any more than that. Increase the spin speed and then start. There we go. There we go. So it's time now to put these underwear on dry. So they should start up right now. And then I need to wash the final load of the day, which is going to be some towels. And there we go. In fact, I think I will probably put these towels on a super quick, increase the speed, and then go. Right, so I've now got to finally fold up all of these and the towels are done. I've just taken out the fluff box and that was all the fluff from five washes because I emptied this before well before yesterday so there we go that's all of that washing done in one day
And there we have it. Thank you for joining me for another laundry day. If you like what you've seen and you'd like to see some more laundry vlogs, then please leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, and of course, share the video. So from me, until next time, goodbye.